hey guys, I know this video is going to be coming pretty late to a lot of other people's uh, talks about Delta Room, but I just I finally have enough time, and I really just want to talk about the opening because after playing just the first five minutes of Delta Room, I was just smiling uncontrollably, audibly giddy, and just I was blown away. And now after I finish the game, looking back at the opener, it's just like wow, this like the thought that I think that went into it is insane. And all he did it all in just like three easy minutes. So I want to take a quick, just a quick minute to talk about why I think this room has one of the best openings, second to only another favorite game of mine, Kingdom Hearts 2, which I think has a fantastic opening. A lot of people apparently disagree with that, but I'm going to link a video here of some guy that goes into it that I think really does a well job of saying why that is really good. But Delta Room's a good, really good second. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and let's take a look. One thing I want to get off right away is this idea of the theme that there's no um, there's no choice in this game. It kind of just plays out the way it's going to play out no matter what. And the very first like couple seconds when you're creating your character, you easily get that. And it's just saying, you don't choose who you are, this is who you are. And I don't want, I don't want to go too in detail with that, because that's not what I think really makes this open. What really gets me is, you wake up, you see Ter uh, Toriel, and you see the room you're in. And if you haven't played Undertale in a while, which I haven't played, it's been two years since I played it, but um, you you hear your name is Chris. And instantly I'm thinking, well, that's really close to Frisk. That's 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 weird. Um, but you see that you're in this room. Um, you know that in the um, good ending of Undertale, you're living with Toriel now. She's a teacher. She's, she has a school and everything. And you see where your room is, and you see that you obviously had her brother. Um, you can deter more from the room, like how you don't have any trophies, and they're like apparently like a rock star over there with all their crap. Um, I mean, but you're left to believe. I don't know who could that be. And you go around. You can do some cool stuff in your house. But it's right when you leave, when you leave your house, and you go in that car. In in I think I think I timed it around close to just over a minute, just over a minute. You get a great song, one of my favorite songs in the in the game, and. I just want to, I just gonna play that real quick. I'm just gonna play that scene and then we'll talk about it. So right off the bat, Toriel mentions Asriel. And now you know, oh, that's my brother, Asriel. So, okay, there's point one saying that this is just a continuation. Asriel's here. Um, and then you go through the town, and you see Caddy. You see the, uh, the other monster girl from who's like her friend, uh, the crocodile girl. You see Undyne, which, since it's so quick, this is under a minute, you're just walk going through the town real quick. You see Undyne, but you can't really tell the difference between her, but she's a police officer. It makes a lot of sense for Undyne. It's like, okay, that makes sense. Um, and then you get to the school, which we already said, Toriel becomes a school teacher in the end of Undertale 1, or Undertale, not Undertale 1, at the end of Undertale, and you hit, hit with that Undertale music at the very end, just all, like, pointing that this is a continuation of some sort. It's, like, these small little things, and then you get into the, um, get into the classroom, you see Alfie's, which, that's a good role for Alfie's to be a teacher, makes a lot of sense, and all of that done is quick enough to where it hits you, and I'm just smiling, because I'm just so happy that I'm seeing all these characters Everyone looks happy. Everyone looks like everyone looks like how I left them, and it's great. It's so good to see, like, just to go back, like, to think that I would never see these characters again in a setting where it's like, oh wow, things are going, things are going well. This is really nice. Um, and they do it quick enough so that you can't really, can't really question anything yet. So you're left just happy and just like, oh man, this is awesome. 
and then you go and you see Alfie's and you start talking to all the people. You meet Temi again, Monster Kid's there, the um, the kid behind Monster Kid, which was I think one of the creatures that you could fight in the original game, and Undertale. And you talk to Alfie's, and she seems just like she normally does. Maybe the only hint I can maybe think that this is slightly different is that she seems slightly more of a pushover, and she also doesn't mention like the um, like you guys working together to like defeat uh, uh, get out of the underworld and all that stuff. But she seems very much like herself. Like I said, maybe slightly less confident than she was at the end of the original one. But this is this is like a perfect role for her. She seems like she'd be a little bit of a pushover of a teacher, and then so brilliantly in my opinion where it's like hey we're gonna give you this taste of all this familiar stuff that you know you know all these people somewhat you um you want to like if you're a fan of undertale you want to talk and interact with these characters to know what they've been up to what's happening but you know what now we're going on a whole different adventure with different characters you're gonna learn all these other people and that's what you're gonna get so you're left with this idea that this is a continuation but you can never question that is until you get to the very end so you beat the game, you come out, you go into the town, and you're like, well, first off, when you beat the game and you leave, um, I thought, okay, well, this, this is just going to end here. But then, or, like, um, you're going to leave, and then you're just going to go back to town, you're going to go to bed and all that stuff, and figure out, move on. But they let you just roam around the town and talk to everyone. And that was just so good. I was so happy. I was like, yes, let me go and talk to everyone. I need to know what happened. So I go around. The first person I think you run into is, um, you can run into is maybe Undying, depending on where you go. I mean, you can go to the library, but... The first original character that you can see again is Undyne. I go right as Undyne, and I was like, yo, Undyne, what are you even up to? I don't even notice the eye thing yet. I start talking to her. And then I mention Alfie's. And she's like, I don't know who that is. And then instantly you're just lit with, what the fuck? And then you talk to, and then you go on to talk to everyone else. You can look around. Um, if you talk to Caddy uh, and the Crocodile Girl, which I can't believe I'm still forgetting her name, um, they, you find out that they don't really like each other. They're not really that friends. You can go talk to the... Um, the guy who worked for Metaton, uh, the hamburger guy, yeah, whatever. You can talk to him, and he kind of he seems very like the exact same personality, and he talks like he um he even coaches like, oh yeah, I remember you, buddy, yeah, yeah, hey, buddy, and all that stuff. But he doesn't. No one's mentioning the um like getting out of and coming out of the underground or whatever they call it, underworld, underground. I think it's underground. Um, no one's talking about that. You can go talk to Sans, and Sans doesn't even remember you. The one character which you think it would be. Oh, well, he's kind of fourth wall breaking. He understands how things work in this world. He might remember me. And he doesn't even remember you. He's like, who the heck are you? I don't know what's going on here. And it's just not, it's slightly, I guess, almost like a heartbreaking feeling. But it's like, oh my god. All the characters that I really like, that I really enjoy, and they don't even remember me. Like, I know that's, I mean, it's even kind of cringy to say, but, but I mean, that's how you, I mean, that's how I really felt. It's like, I can't believe this. I just want to really catch up with these characters again but it's not really me this is a different character that i'm with now that has different memories different um interactions with them that i know nothing about and it's just strange because that's not i mean it's nice to see but it's not what i was really looking for you can then go look around some more you find your dad um your dad and toriel are still or Tor toriel and asgore are still um separated and he acts exact again every, almost everyone's personalities are exactly the same um I don't think there's any huge difference between how they act, but I know people have done comparisons. Like when you first meet your dad, it's like a like an exact replica of the scene when you walk into um Asgore when you're fight about to fight him in um, Undertale. But you see all this, you go around, everything's slightly different. Like instead of the um instead of the different souls, you see the flowers up in his room that are all the same colors and all that stuff, and it's just insane the amount of similarities to this world to the original Undertale, and it. It makes it that much more um, confusing and interesting and, again, like almost like this heartbreaking feeling. Like you thought you were – the whole entire game, you thought one thing and then it comes out to be not not entirely different but a like a, um, a different perspective of what's actually going on. And that's why I think that this op – like that's why I think the Delta Room opener is so good. They give you this really good feeling. They get you ready and so psyched for this game by um, introducing you all these familiar things. And then they take it all away. Well, they don't take it all away per se. I know, like, um, in like other people's games design, when you're talking about like an action game design, like people will give you all a bunch of powers and everything at the very beginning of the game, and then you lose all your powers and you have to go through and gain them all. Like that's basic game design. But in this work, in this way, it's not so much about how you play or your character per se. It's more of the for the for you, the player. They give you this feeling of familiarity, 
and they're like, I know you know these characters. I know you want to know more about these characters and know more about what happened. But I'm not going to give you that. We're going to wait. We're going to let you go on this journey to the point where, oh, man, now you feel like you like all these other characters. You really like these characters. You really like this world. Um, and then we're going to put you out in the, in, the, in the world again. And you're going to realize the world you thought you were in is not that world. This is a different universe, a different story. So get used to it. And at first, if you would say, like, if we were knowing that at the very beginning, so if I could go around and talk to everyone, and I realized at the beginning of the game that this was a different universe, I, of course, would still play it. But it wouldn't get this, like, feeling like a lot of people would be like, well, no, that's not what I want. I want a, I want the world that we were in before. I want a continuation of what I did. I want to see how my characters resulted after the end of Undertale 1. But by, by waiting, by making us go on a different adventure with different characters that we grow to really enjoy, then when we come out of it, we're almost at like a um a clash. It's like this isn't the world I wanted to be in, but now I don't want to leave the world. <laughs> now I'm now I'm more invested in this because of all the characters I met and the other um in the dark realm. So that's why I just I don't know. I know a lot of people probably have felt the same way. There's probably a lot of other videos talking about stuff like this, but I just I I had to get that out. How how well done that movie is to just sub uh what's the word subvert? I don't know. You know what I mean. To um give us that little taste take it away or more like put it to the side and then when you come out of it already happy already feeling good that you beat the game and then be like hey you know that chocolate piece of candy you just got it's actually a uh, it's actually a uh, what's it called where this uh, uh, the sour sour pouch kid that's what it was you get that sour taste instantly and you're like oh wait no this is still good it's just not what i was expecting <laughs> oh man so yeah i don't want to go into too much more details all i really want to talk about was that um that when put together with how it ends and how it's laid out is just so well done. It's so perfect. And I hope you guys, I hope everyone's already played the game. If you haven't played the game, go play. I mean, it's free. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, if you haven't played Undertale, of course, go play Undertale first. That's only normally $10, but I mean, the winter sale's coming up on Steam soon. You can easily probably grab it for fives most of the time. But you should definitely give it a shot. Then give Deltarune a go. It's, it's really well done. It's really well done. And the opener is just, it's just the, it's just the beginning of what's to come. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else to say, guys. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, this is, again, this was really off the cuff, just like really quickly put together. I had one day off, so I'm like, you know what? I don't have anything going on. Let me just make this video. I've been thinking about it for a while. So it's not that well. I didn't put a lot of study into like thinking this over. This is just thoughts that have been in my head for the last couple days. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good one.